Hey, this is Jerry Henley, lifelong firearms enthusiast, firearms instructor, and really passionate about firearms and their place in our society. This series of videos is probably not for the people out there who are already well versed in firearms. Instead, this is for the people out there who might be at the very beginning of their journey, might not know much about firearms, or may, even if they don't have an interest, realize they want to educate themselves for the safety of themselves and those around them. So this is going to be a series of very basic firearm safety and use videos. And I hope you find it interesting. Again, if you're somebody who's a firearms enthusiast yourself, maybe these videos aren't for you, although certainly a little education never hurt anybody, but this might be for your wife or husband or brother, or sister, or father or daughter, uh, anybody in your life that you might think, you know what, here's some good information. Uh, we're gonna do a series of short videos. We're not gonna get into these really, really long drawn out explanations. And with that, let's go ahead and get to the next video. In the first video in our series of just sort of basic online firearms academy, oh, I like that, I think I'll use that. We're gonna go over what I like to say are the two major rules. Now, you're gonna hear, uh, you might do some, some research online, and you'll see that there is a list of sort of basic rules of firearm safety. There are like five of them. We will get into that in a future video, but I like to start off with all of my students with these two rules uh, because if we do and if we follow just these two rules, we're going to prevent any form of tragedy related to improperly handling a firearm. So with all these videos, I'm only going to give you as much information before we get into the meat of it so that you can absorb what it is that I'm, what I'm telling you. So any nomenclature that I might use in the video, I'll go ahead and I'll explain at the beginning. First of all, we're just gonna talk about some really basic things. One of them is the trigger. I think everybody knows what a trigger is. You activate that by pulling it, pushing it to the rear, or whatever you wanna call it, and the gun goes bang. Uh, this area around the trigger is called the trigger guard. Shockingly enough, that guards the trigger from any unintentional manipulation or uh, colliding with anything, etc. Okay, so we're going to focus really on the trigger and we're going to focus on what is known as the muzzle of the gun. Is where when the gun fires, the bullet comes out and we want to be aware of that. And then inside the barrel or, you know, if you follow that muzzle down, that is the bore of the firearm. So uh, with that trigger, trigger, guard, bore, and muzzle, let's go ahead and get going with our two basic rules. Rule number one, I like to call the laser rule, and the laser rule is very simple. The laser rule uh, supposes and invites you to imagine that lodged in the bore of your firearm, there is a laser that we can never turn off and it destroys anything it touches. So what that rule is supposed to do is supposed to help us with muzzle awareness, and that means that we never want to point the muzzle at anything we're not willing to destroy. Uh, what that also means is that like right now I am holding my, my pistol and you'll notice that it's angled down, downward about a 45 degree angle to the floor off to my right. Uh, right now that is a safe area. However, we have to always be prioritizing and being aware of our surroundings. So maybe I'm holding the firearm like this and maybe uh, my dog were to walk by. And if my dog were to walk by or, or a person or certainly you know, anybody or anything, I might want to go ahead and you know, change the orientation of that pistol. Now, I did just point it down, but you'll notice even when I'm pointing my pistol down, I'm not pointing it at my foot because I certainly don't want to destroy that. So again, it is important for you to constantly be aware of where your muzzle is. And the best way to do that, again, is to remember the laser rule. There's a laser in the bore of that pistol. Now, the second rule we're going to talk about is I just like to call it the trigger finger rule. And the trigger finger rule basically just states that I don't put my finger inside the trigger guard unless I'm willing to accept a big bang right now and I keep that finger anchored on the frame of the pistol, on an unmovable part of the pistol, okay? The reason we do that is because not only do we want to not place our finger inside the trigger guard where it has access to the trigger until I'm, you know, until I'm willing to accept that big bang, meaning the, the gun going off, but also 
we want to guard against any sort of unintentional action or activity of that trigger finger. Now, there are a lot of things that can happen. There are things that we call the startle reflex. There are things that we call the overflow effect, where one hand is doing something, the other hand moves in sympathy with it. And there are other physiological reasons why the hands may clench and therefore the fingers may clench. And if you have that trigger finger maybe resting against the trigger, floating off into space, and it isn't anchored, then you can go ahead and inadvertently, and this has certainly happened, I, I, I know and you probably know of, of you know, many different instances where we've had an accidental discharge with a firearm because that finger has bumped the trigger when it didn't mean to. You know, I was doing some research in anticipation of this video, and when we get a, uh, a signal, an auditory uh, signal that might cause us to jump or startle, the time that it takes from that signal to get from the ears to your hands to clench, as they might do, is between 126 and 150 milliseconds. So we have to understand that our body and our nervous system and our synapses are meant for survival. And part of that survival is being able to react quickly. What nature didn't factor into our survival is that we might have a pistol in our hand. And so we might do things that causes us to in, in unintentionally move that trigger finger. The way to overcome that, rule number two, keep your finger out of the trigger guard and anchored along the slide or the an immovable part of the of the pistol until you um, consciously want it to be elsewhere. So with that, real quick recap, the two rules. Number one is a laser rule. Be aware of your muzzle at all times. Constantly be aware and, prior, and prioritize and reprioritize where that muzzle is going to be pointing. And number two is that trigger finger rule. I'm Jerry Henley. We're going to do more of these. This is number one, and I hope that you stick around for the rest of them. I'll try to put like a card up for the next video in the series so that you can just uh, find them very easily. Thanks so much. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you think it's of interest to you. And other than that, God bless America and have a great day.